Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm Katie. I'm here with Don Broco. Um, how are you guys doing today? Yeah, Hello, great. Thank you. Nice. Very good. Enjoying the weather. <laughs> yeah, we were just saying yesterday was so hot. Yeah. And I was like, this could actually work out well because I you know, traditionally British festivals are just, you know, written off as soon as the weather's really bad and everyone kind of muddles through and has a good time. And yesterday was too good. Yeah. And I think this is like the perfect conditions for a festival. So I'm, I'm very happy yeah, with nice. this. Yeah. Is this your first time playing at Community or have you been here yeah. before? How are you feeling about it? Are you excited? Yeah. I mean, it's absolutely huge out there. I, yeah. I've never, I've never been before and I didn't, until we came on stage and set up our stuff, I was like, whoa, this is, there's a lot, of, a lot of people here, so it's going to be fun. Oh, nice. Um, do you have like, a particular standout gig that you've ever played, gig or a festival, sort of, like, one that really stands out, your favourite? Um, yeah. like Wembley, probably? I, yeah. think, I think now, yeah, probably our most recent arena tour, yeah. capping it off at Wembley in February was probably there. One we probably agree on. Yeah, it's, it's the best one. Mm. But to be fair, we've had some great festival appearances as well over the years. So um, yeah, maybe it's, today we'll talk about like a lot of the time things just there's be one thing during a show that would just piss someone off, and then everyone else would be like, yeah, that was the best show we've ever done, and yeah. then one person had a bad one. But yeah, Wembley, we all came off loving it. Everything went right. It was like you know the the biggest show we'd done and no one fucked up too bad so we were already happy uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like festival wise probably like we read our last reading in leeds was insane like uh we always have amazing like reading and leeds festivals every time we go um and either to be fair either that one or the one before we did a secret set um and that i remember us all really enjoying that and just coming off just being so hyped so yeah there's been a few good ones so Sub TV is sort of a playlister, and um, we were just wondering what are your top three songs that you've put on your party playlist? If you're having all your mates around, top three tracks. Top three tracks to get the party going. Yeah, any genre. Um, mm. Think about DJ set playlist. Yeah, I mean, Go -to tracks. it depends. There's like, I mean, there's. There's one song that always gets me proper hype. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I don't. It's been out for a few years now. What is it? But uh, only by Nicki Minaj. I don't know why. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> that gets me really just yeah. in the zone and ready to like either go out or get on stage or anything. That's like, I mean, it's a, like I guess a slightly slow tempo, but I just think she goes so hard on that track. That's that's a big one for me. Um, I guess what other like. If you're getting ready for a party. I'm trying to think what we put on before we go on stage. Yeah. So we've got stereo or something like that. I'm just, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Limp Bizkit Rolling is a classic. You can't really go wrong with that to, to get you in the zone. Yeah. Um, and probably one song like from my childhood that still, if I hear it out in a club or whatever, it just still like goes off is uh, The Rude Sandstorm. I think that was the first single I ever bought. I remember <laughs> buying it on the CD as a single. Um, and yeah, I, I heard it in a club the other night and it was a real blast from the past, but yeah, everyone still loves it, so. It's a classic yeah. choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we also sort of program music videos, uh, so it's a music TV channel. And I was just wondering if you have any really standout music videos, either that you've been in, you know, for like your own music or just ones that you really enjoy watching. Um, yeah, I mean, I, f I think probably our favourite or favourites would definitely be the last, the last few we did. Uh, mine's probably Pretty, where me and Tom have this rivalry throughout the entire <laughs> video. Um, Tom's getting married, and I, for some reason, uh, I want his wife to be. Essentially, yeah. So I basically take his face off. Trying to off. kidnap me, <laughs> steal my face, put it on your yeah. own face, then try and marry my to be wife. Yeah, I know. But yeah, it's um, yeah, it's like a mix of like the movie Face Off, which is one of my favourite movies, yeah. and some like, yeah, kind of Texas Chainsaw Massacre horror thing. And we just had a lot of fun making that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it kind of spawned a kind of new direction in a lot of our videos of doing some pretty 
kind of sick stuff in it. Yeah. Grotesque stuff, by the way. Like, sick <laughs> as in cool, but also like a bit mingy. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, thanks for coming and talking to us today. No worries. Very interesting responses. <laughs> and I hope you have a really good gig later. So. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Cheers. Time.